Hello everyone. Welcome to Art with Ashley. I am happy to be here with you all today. Um, so on the agenda for today is finishing um, the crocus flower that we started in our last session. Um, I have picked out all of my colored pencils. I think they're all the same ones that I used last time. Hopefully that works. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, again, just a reminder, these are the colored pencils that I am using, the Prismacolor um, Premier, and I'm using the set of 48. So um, again, just my pr personal preference for this, and this is just a multimedia kind of paper, so um, nothing super fancy, but um, it has been a few weeks, or a couple weeks, I think, since I um, worked on this, so um, I'm just going to jump right back in, and I'll be utilizing a photograph off of my phone. I can show that to you now here. So it was that crocus flower. Um, that's what I'll be trying to render or complete um, at least a portion of it. So, all right, I am going to move my computer so that you can see my workspace. Um, as always, it'll be upside down for you, but I will try to take some breaks throughout so that uh, you can get some updates and whatnot. So, um, Let's see, I'm going to blow that up a bit. All right, so I think I'm just going to, not sure where I want to start exactly. We will just see. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I want to work on this petal right about here, so... That is going to be a few different ones here. The lighting in here is certainly not my favorite. Um, I almost feel like that's. Gonna do a light, very light layer of this ultramarine blue. Probably go over it with some violet. Um, again, referencing the lighting here, I try to get these videos done on Mondays while my daughter is at school but sometimes I run out of time because I'm doing homework or other things um, and if that happens then I end up <laughs> having to wait until she goes to sleep so my natural light is gone and um, well I work with the lamp and I think I have the kitchen light on and I'm just hoping that that that's enough for now So a reminder, the reason that I wanted to um, create this rendering of a crocus is because we had the pleasant surprise of having one in our yard 
um, not long ago. Sadly, it is um, not alive. <laughs> I was trying to find a nice way of putting that. <laughs> Anyways, um, it has become compost for us now, which is okay. It's the circle of life, right? There's a very, very thin, let's see if I can do this. Hmm. Hopefully that'll work. There's a really thin line. Um, That I'm trying to capture at the moment. <laughs> Again, I am no expert when it comes to colored pencil. Um, it is not something that I had have really dabbled in at all. Um, quite frankly, because I am more of an expressive artist and um, well, colored pencil takes a lot of patience and time and um, sort of opposite of what, <laughs> of what uh, can be achieved with an expressive painting. So, um, but, you know, it, it is nice to slow down sometimes. Slow down, take a break. Work on something that requires more attention and concentration. Um, you know, it, it, it's those things that it seems like, oh, yeah, there's a, I've, I've got to concentrate a lot more to do this. But in the same respect, um, I find that those activities in some ways become a little mindless. I know I'm like really contradicting myself here, but um, they do. They feel um, like when you're doing a meditative coloring or something like that, you know, or you get lost in a, you know, if you're into crocheting or knitting or, or something like that, right? Um, we get kind of lost in those activities and it feels like you don't even have to pay attention that hard to to be doing it. I don't think that made sense at all what I just said, but hopefully <laughs> hopefully you can sort of catch what I'm what I'm trying to to say. All right. I have no idea. <laughs> this is how I held my pencils last time I did this. Um, I find that it's easier for me to just have them all in my hand. Um, <laughs> for others, this may be very confusing. You may not want to do this. Um, whatever works best for you. I feel like, you, you know, the movie Edward Scissorhands, I feel like Ashley colored pencil hands. I don't know. That's pretty lame. But <laughs> anyway, back to our rendering here. I'm trying to crisp up some of these edges a bit just for a higher higher level of contrast. So I am recording this on April 5th, day after Easter. 
Um, and what a beautiful day we had yesterday and today. Um, one of those, one of those warm spring days that just lift your mood a bit, you know, reminds you of how good that warmth from the sun feels or the light breeze. I was kind of chilly last night and I turned on the heat. Unfortunately, this morning I forgot that I had it turned on, so <laughs> I went, I think, like half the day. I was sitting inside doing some homework, and all of a sudden, I'm like, man, it's kind of warm in here. And I go and I look, and I've got the heat on. <laughs> uh. There are parts of these um, petals that look almost transparent, and I'm having difficulty finding the appropriate color to match that or to get that effect. Again, not an expert when it comes to colored pencil, but Again, good to challenge ourselves sometimes, right? Right. cannot wait to do the center of the flower. I think it is just really going to make the rest of it pop. And get a really lovely contrast, I think. Especially, you know, you can't go wrong with purple and, and orange, those complementary colors.
sort of starting to take shape here. Definitely more of a light blue, I think. Get in there. I think I might have asked this before, but <laughs> I just I feel like I talk to myself a lot when I'm working on something, when I'm creating some art. I don't know, it's just sort of my process to talk it out. <laughs> Typically, I do put on some music when I'm doing art. Um, not really one for silence. Violet. I feel like sometimes when I'm doing um, a rendering or a painting or anything along, you know, the lines where I'm using a photo as a reference, um, and I know many of you who do come to um, Open Studio or who have done art with me in the past um, work from photos and whatnot, and I know that we get down on ourselves quite a bit about, oh, it doesn't look like the, you know, doesn't really look like the picture, whatever. Um, what I want to say is that I, I feel like at some point I eventually end up going rogue, kind of, and I just sort of like, you know, I know it's not going to exactly look like that photograph, right? That's not necessarily my intention either. I... You know, this is my drawing, my rendering, and um, I am giving myself the creative freedom to, you know, make it how I like it.
the one I just have not really worked on quite is this one right here those ones that are so up close are a little bit harder to get uh, that perspective correct Where? All right, there you are.
I apologize. Normally I have more commentary, but I, I'm finding that I... This rendering is really taking up a lot of my concentration. Um, if that makes sense. Went outside the line a bit there. I did not want to do that, but you know what? Happy accident, right? All right. I think that um, that is all I'm going to do for the purple portion, purple flowers for the crocus here. Um, I am going to do the center now. a really really pretty orange yellow um, and I do not think that I'm going to finish the um, the stem I think that might be something that I could work on um, during one of the classes that I teach so stay tuned for that I am just kind of while I'm doing this, I'm going to move this over so I can kind of color match a little bit better. Alright, so I think this is a good one. I'm going to need a little bit of this. <clears throat> Goldenrod. Yep. And we do need more of like a... This pale vermilion. It's not quite what I'm looking for. That might be too... Uh, I think that'll do. Okay. I am thinking that perhaps it might have been better if I did this on a first. But you know what? We. Everything is sort of trial and error, right? So I'm just going in now and. Trying to kind of um, make the background of the um, real technical terms here. Geez, I can't even <laughs> can't even use words right. Um, I'm just trying to darken directly behind the center of the um, the center of the flower just so those little orange pieces kind of pop a little bit more um. Is that oh, I need blue violet? I think this 
is just a little bit lighter than I want it to be. Eh. Not super pleased with how the center of these turned out. But that's okay. Next time I'd probably do the center first and then um, and then do the outside of it. So okay. I am going to lift this up so you can see, hopefully a little bit better here, what my finished product is. Alright, so that is my rendering of, of the crocus flower. Here is the picture that I used. Um, again, it's not an identical replica at all, and you can tell that for sure. But I think you can also tell that at least it's a a purple flower. <laughs> um, I think you get the general idea. Again, um, I wish I would have done the center a little bit differently. Um, but overall, you know, for not doing color pencil in some time, I'm pretty pleased with the, the outcome here. Um, so I would suggest that, um, if you're looking for a challenge, um, and you've never tried colored pencil before, um, you should give it a shot. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this latest video and I will be coming to you soon with a new one. Thanks for watching. Bye!